Hello everybody and welcome back to another City Skylines video with me, Riskel here today. I'm going to be showing you some stuff that I did while offline. To start off with, I am showing you this. This is what I have done. First of all, I think there is time lights here and I don't want that. So let's just take that out. There we go. Or traffic lights, whatever. Get that out of there and keep them going in there. And another thing is that you can see that this is the cargo hub. This is what we added, the cargo train terminal. You can see that I made this big, long S road and it goes all the way up. To be honest, I probably should have made it bigger, but it is what it is. So I made this big, long S road because I want all of the trucks going to this train terminal to stay off of this main road. At the same time, it's not that busy, but this road does go to the highway, which I've connected here. And I've made it attach over to here. So now they have instant access right from here out onto the highway. Well, it's just, they're just going. Okay. They just turn and they're just going to the highway and they're going wherever they want to go after that. So like I said, the traffic prefers a faster route, the fastest way they can go. So if they got to go on a highway, go down this way a little bit to then go off of the highway, they'll do that. Okay. So instead of them coming down this road here, all the way down this way, turning to go onto this highway and to wherever they want to go after that, they just go down here, go on this highway, zoom all the way through and then go off onto this roundabout instead, which keeps this road clear and makes everything look nice, except for obviously this area right here. So this is the area that I built out in the, uh, if you see it in the cinematic intro. This is the part I built out. So what I did was I made a district here and then I made a district here. Okay. These are European buildings. These ones right here, the European style buildings. If you click on the district name right there, you can see here that's different styles. I chose the European style. Okay. So that's all I did for this district. And then this district over here, I put on self-sufficient buildings. You can see the little icon right there right there. And then I also added a uh, high tech, which is in here, high tech housing. Okay. So increase the land value. That's basically what I did. And I still have all this area back here to work with. I still have this area over here to work with, and I have this whole area over here to work with. So I still got some more stuff that I can do and that I can use to my advantage, but let's try and put a fishing thing over here. So in the factories, I think in the Sunset Harbor DLC, I'm pretty sure there's, oh, look at that. There is, there's no tuna though. Shellfish, or no, is this tuna right here? Uh, anchovies here. Salmon is here. Tuna's right here. So there's tuna, yeah. And then there's shellfish all over here. Okay. That's a different kind of fish, which is also another reason that I like this map. I, I could have swore that was... It doesn't look as dark as it does in there. It looks lighter. Ah, whatever. Okay. So the faster the current, uh, you get tuna because tuna like to live, apparently like to live in fast, whatever. I can't really explain it, but, um, shellfish like to live in deep areas. So the deeper the water, you'll probably get shellfish, anchovy and salmon like to live near the coastal area or in non shallow kind of waters. So yeah, uh, I'm going to just assume that's what it is. I forget how it actually was, but to from what I remember, I'm pretty sure it's it's that. So let's just build some of that stuff out here. It's going to bring it all the way to the end here out there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got to Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, no, no I'm going to leave that road there. I will place the fishing harbor around here though. And then I'm gonna hide the fishing harbor so y'all can read it. Uh, the fishing harbor sends out low capacity fishing boats that can catch all types of fish with a moderate catch rate to function. This fishing harbor requires a complete looping fishing route that starts and ends at the harbor. Easy. And you got your fishing farm. You just kind of just sit around and just collect fish. That's all they really do. So if you open this up, uh, oh, does that not want to do what I want it to do? I mean, you used to grow and gather high yields of fish. A farm has grown. Cycle and when complete, it sends the yields either to the fishing or fishing factory. Fish can also be exported. 
be built on small lake farms suffer from local water pollution. Hmm, okay. Let's just put this here. So it just collects the fish. Okay. Then you got your fish market. So I don't know if I would put this over here. But it does produce noise pollution. So I could put it in here somewhere. Let's just take this road. And we'll just take it off of here. Oh, not there. Take it off of here. Put the fishing market over here. Okay, so it's with all the other noisy stuff over here too. So that'll be good for us. There we go. Oh yeah, that goes pretty far. Well, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. And then you got your fish factory. Pretty simple. Just put it there and it goes from fish to commercial zone goods. That's easy, easy. <laughs> It is what it is. And then you unlock stuff as you increase your fishing stuff, right? So I think you would need to have more of these. Well, you could probably, we could probably get all three of these fish in one swoop. However, I will make more. Let's focus on specific fish. Okay, there we go. Now what will happen is you'll see some boats like this. They'll come out and they'll start collecting the fish. What you want to do is you want to make it so that the routing is as small as possible. Okay. So that one's at a hundred. When does this one get up to a hundred? Okay. Let's click on our thing again. Okay, I can't. Let's just see when it gets up to a hundred. There it is. There's a hundred right there. So I have a little bit of extra space that I can cut out. So let us cut out that much for now. And you want them to be as, as effective as possible, pretty much. Okay, let's try that. So here comes the boat. Is this one going to keep going on that path? Yes, it is. There's 50. 60. 70 80 90 100 that's fine that's that's pretty much fine okay it's not as bad right so as long as they get to 100 percent relatively close before they go back into the thing right there Okay, so it's, it's literally right on the circle. So that route is fine. And I am 100, perfect. Alrighty, that's good. So as you can see, I have made the lines rel relatively smaller. But I did try to make them catch specific fish. These two are kind of catching all, well, this one's catching about all three fish. This one's only capturing two of them. This one's capture was capturing the tuna but now it's going into the shellfish because I changed the I changed this part over here to make it so that the water actually flowed through this circle instead of looking like it was just on a random island and uh, that's what happened over here and because of these pipes over here the water is slowly going <laughs> going downhill pretty fast so I might change that to make the water come back up again but we'll see um, I might put the pumps maybe over here somewhere because you look at it. it, it doesn't look that good. <laughs> the, it's, go, it's gone down. Okay. How many pumps are over here? One, two, three, four, six pumps. You know what? Let's just put some pumps over here. Uh, somewhere around here. Going back up to its natural level. Which means I might have to move these buildings. Because <laughs> it was pretty high before. So. I just don't remember how high it was. That's the only thing. But yeah, so there you go. That's your fish farm. And it's going to take all the fish. It's going to either put it in here, make it into commercial zone goods, which we will actually put a thing right there. Leave it on balance and we'll do commercial zone goods. And then it'll put some of the fish in there too, if needed. 
and then it'll import those as well which is okay and then it will send it out to this over here fish sold last week's 100 look at that no tourists though but that's okay it's going good it's going good look at that yeah and then this is rising which is going to cause problems for this road here because like i said it was at a natural level and i have removed that natural level <laughs> we're gonna need is one of these bad boys right here try and get as close as possible right there and then just kind of go like that and then just kind of go like that <laughs> it's gonna look weird but oh this I can't really do nothing about uh oh that's not good there we go. There we go. And then we're going to have to do our four lane here, four lane there. Can't do nothing there. And then our four lane here and four lane there. And then our four lane here. Four lane here. We're going to just make this go into a four lane like that. And then just down to a three lane. There we go. And then this is a three lane. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. There we go. I'm just going to just do its thing. And there you go. Now we got that going. So let's get our six lane back. Get our straight road. I'm going to just put this right in the middle here. Come out this way. And then that's pretty much it. And then I just connect these back up to where they're supposed to go like this. And there. Now they have a way in and they have a way out. And that's pretty much it. Nothing too special. And then we just need a bus route. That goes from... Let's say somewhere over here. Where is our bus thingy? In here. And then just straight back again. That's our bus route. There we go. Okay, let's get a district tool. Make our factory district like this. We just all factory basically over here. Paint that district in. There we go. There we go. And then make this oil. Did it do it? Oh no, I gotta do this. Uh, I gotta do that and then put this building in here that's what I gotta do there we go oil okay we all know how the main building works okay just shows you stats allows you to level up oil that's basically all it is you got the small oil pump a single oil pump for extracting oil industry raw material from an underground reservoir I almost said resources underground reservoir extractor needs to be placed on oil field inside industry area so it needs to go on like places like this. You see this light brown stuff? Ah, uh, get out of here. Where is it? Right here. This light brown stuff. Anything in here is where it goes, right? So anywhere inside here it should be okay. I like to place it on these kind of roads like this. Let's just put three for now. And then we got our oil sludge pyrolysis. Is that what that says? Pyrolysis plant. And this doesn't need to be placed on a thing. Oil sludge pyrolysis plant take oil and process it into petroleum this process building requires oil to be produced oil special goods petroleum processing buildings to be placed inside industry area okay so no i don't need to place it on an oil area but i will place it over here and then we have our small crude oil tank farm doors Storage with pumping station pipes and four tanks for storing oil in industry raw material store buildings can be placed outside the industry area okay Oh, so I can like place this 
anywhere. It doesn't have to be placed inside there, eh? Oh, that's good to know. Okay, well, I'm going to place it inside here first. Just to make sure that everything's working properly. I don't want to take up too much oil, but at the same time, there we go. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty much it right there. I think that guy right there. What's this? Petroleum. That's what I need to add. Right there. Petroleum. That's going to be for the oil. That's going to go to petroleum. Uh, wherever those small things went. Right here. These are going to collect the oil from the ground. It's doing right there. There we go. It's going to take it and put it in here. Some of it into there. And then some of it into here. So, can be ported at a cost, can be exported for money. So, I'm gonna leave that unbalanced because it should fill up from this truck right here, right? Yeah, there we go. It's slowly filling up. So, there we go. We got some oil. There we go. Perfect, though. That should all be on the. There we go. On the ore. And then we take, do the same thing. We got a district, a factory tool, paint it like this. Just like that. There we go. Gonna cover all of the ore. We're not gonna bother with this side though. We're gonna go back to our factory tab. We're gonna look at the ore, the main building. We all know what the main building does again. Just shows you the stats of your area, your industry area. And it also uh, allows you to build ore stuff. So there you go. We got small oil mi ore mine. I mean, what we wanna do with that is we wanna click on our resources. We want to put this building anywhere on the blue. Okay, I'm going to need a lot more than just one, though. So let's just do like two or three. This, this road's in my way. There we go. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Get out of here. There we go. Two or three should be okay. Just like that. It should be placed on these small roads, but whatever. It is what it is now. Um. There you go. Two or three of those. Then you got your ore grinding mill. We'll put this... Um, probably over here in this corner, like this, or even over here. Maybe we'll put it way over here. I should be okay. Oh, I didn't, I didn't show you what it does. I didn't tell you what they do. So this one, an extraction site with basic equipment for mining industry area, raw material, or extractor needs to be placed on ore deposit industry inside area. Okay. So that means it needs, to, it needs to be placed on the blue stuff is what that building means. This one is sand storage, a lot that is used for storing the ore industry raw material. Storage building can be placed outside industry area, which is fine. But we want it to play. We want to place it in here for now. But these buildings are kind of big, and I didn't make it. Uh, I didn't make that area kind of big enough. Ore grinding mills take ore raw materials and pushes them. True. That says true. That says true. This should be an H in there. Anyway. True the grinder <laughs> to break down, separate, or size the raw materials to more usable form. Does should that say does that say something else? Or does that say trow? No, this is true. Without the H. T H R O U G H. True. Through. Whatever. Anyway. This processing building requires ore to produce ore special goods materials. Processing building needs to be placed inside ore area well whatever industry area but you get what i'm saying you get what i mean and then we just take that do our storage we put the storage rate beside it but on balance i'm gonna need materials right here and that should be literally all of them and that should be it right and there you go then it's gonna take some eventually some of the ore that we make through these or it'll import the ore I'll put it in there and then it'll put it in there or it'll deliver it out either way. And then we need to make a bus route going from here back into this area over here and then all the way back out again over to here. Yeah, I like using I like using this as a direct line kind of thing. What is this? The bus station. I like using it as a direct it's going to be just one line going from where I want it to go to back and then back again. That's basically all it's going to do. That's what I like to treat it as. I don't know about anybody else, but I like to treat it like that. Nature reserve. Here we go. So let us build a nature reserve. Okay. 
We're gonna build a nature reserve off of here. How do I how do I put this in here? The main gate. Okay. Let's put the main gate of this road. And you know what? We're gonna put it as dirt. I don't know where to put this. <laughs> Let's just put it here actually. There we go. Gonna level that up. Let's delete this road. My bad, I know I put it in. I know. There we go. Put it right to there. And then we go back to our nature reserve tab. We have a small nature nature reserve gate, nature reserve main gate. We have a side gate. Let's put the side gate over here. Oh right. Uh, uh paint park area. Here we go. We're gonna add this. Yeah, we're gonna add that to it. This stuff to it right here. We're gonna paint all this up here. All this over here. All this over here. All this. Mostly just up here. I mean, let's just be real. But just in case I want to expand it, this should be okay. And then we'll just paint that right there. We will add in our. I don't like doing it, but we're going to add in this road here. There we go. And then we're going to get our side gate which I did not put in there we go to the thing there we go there's a side gate right there there we go so they can come in over here to the main gate side gate there we go now we go back into parks and plazas and that's some decor but we want these lights I like it when stuff has lights and I can see what the heck is going on thank you so we're gonna just I, mean, I don't know how to explain it really, but this kind of land like this, you want to put a path on. Okay, and I'll show you kind of how to do that. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it the way that I want to explain it. So I'm going to just show you. Okay. So for the path, you kind of just want to stay on like the grassland. See? You want to kind of just stay on the grassland, and the land will form its own shape. The land will do its own thing to make it so that they can actually walk along the path, right? ground like I said so I, we're gonna just stop there okay I don't think there's enough decor anyway to actually do anything with that we'll put it on nighttime so you can see what it looks like but yeah that should be okay and then we go back into our tab and then we got the campfire site so you can just add these along the path pretty much anywhere right just any there we go just anywhere and people get happy it's a random campfire site you know there we go Nothing too special. Just add it wherever you want. You can add as many as you want right there. There we go. We can even add it over here. Look at this. Boom. Boom. Add it any way you want. Okay. And then you got your campfire site too. You can also just add it any, any, any way you want. Oh, except for... No, maybe not there. <laughs> there we go. Anywhere you think there should be a campfire, you put it. Okay. 
that's simple simple motto where you think it should go put it down okay i do want more paths though i want some paths going out into these trees like this there we go and then we can make some straight roads going like this straight across There we go. And then we'll put in our little campfire. A pretty big campfire. Then I think there's a third one. No, no. Okay. Then these tents, you just place wherever you want. So, right? Oh, wait, no. Does it have to be on the path? Oh, it has to be on the path. I lied, guys. I lied. It has to be on the path. So, anywhere you want on the path, right? Just make it seem like people kind of like camp out wherever they want. And then obviously wherever you place the paths, you want to place the campfires, obviously. Okay, so make it seem like someone lives there, someone lives over here, someone lives way up here because they're nuts. Over here, whatever you want, just plop it wherever you see it. Okay, if you want it somewhere, just put it there. Easy, easy mode, put it there. Little people live, a bunch of little people live here. Like not little people, but like a little village or something. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Plop it there. Do it. Then you can decorate it yourself, right? You can just put some benches over here. People want to come and chillax, you know? They want to come and see some stuff. Then you put some lights like this. You know, you can make, you can do whatever you want. I'm not going to waste time doing all that stuff, but you get my drift. You get my drift. Then you put some like water here people gotta come get some water for themselves you know you can do a lot with it the problem is that uh it's it's gonna take a while to actually build out the area and i don't want to do that on camera because <laughs> it's gonna take a long time okay look you can you have these little binocular things like put these like way the heck up here okay like what way the heck up here look at this boom just put them put them there right there you go. And you just keep putting in some, just some tents, some campfires, whatever else. Eventually level up over time. All you need is visitors. That's all you need. So let's add another bus stop from here. Sorry, bus. Sorry, guys. From there to here and then back into there again. There we go. And people don't got to walk there. Take the bus right to there. There we go. Easy. Easy mode. Um, a market. Here it is. I want to add in this market over here next to this fish market right there. Okay. Got the fish market. Got your hyper market. There you go. Easy. Nothing too complicated. I also forgot, almost forgot actually. I turned this road right here into a tram road. So what this does is it goes right along this road, just like this. Comes into here, does a loop right here. We go from our urban area. Okay, we got our urban stuff over here. As I said in the beginning of this episode. So it goes along there. Go straight along this way. Trams have their own section, their own area. Then it goes into here. Around here. Makes a loop there and then goes right back. Way the heck over there. Okay, and it's just, that's all it does. So this was, I'm pretty sure it's six lane and I made it into a four lane instead because I don't have six lane tramps. So let's just see what's going on there. How do I check that line? I forgot right here. And then we go into planes. Limp one is 55. So there's not a whole lot going on. Oh, no. <laughs> there's so many people, but they're all bunched up right here. I don't understand. There's so many people, but they're all bunched up. Wow. How many people, but they're all bunched up right there. Let's look at this. Where the line is they're all getting bunched up right here <laughs> okay i'm in the video there i hope you enjoyed i've heard you've learned some stuff these should be leveling up soon uh, i got 102 and 165 those won't level up soon 103 i have 169 okay so we'll come back and we'll work on that in the next episode just add some more stuff that's pretty much it that's all i'm gonna do um, and then that's pretty much it. We're gonna leave this the way it is for now and it should level up on its own Then we'll just add in some more buildings as everything here's gonna level up on its own We just gotta look after it. We gotta take care of it But I'm going into too much time now 
and I have to go edit this video to put it out tomorrow. So hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you'll like, comment, and subscribe. If you're on Rumble, I hope you'll leave a positive rating. If you're not on Rumble, please go follow me on Rumble as well. If you're not on YouTube, please follow me on YouTube if you want to. Either way, it doesn't matter. But thank you for watching, regardless of what platform you're on. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a positive rating. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.